Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and it's time for our whip and waffle. Uh, so this is the painting I'm currently working on. Um, this translates to Fox Woman. Um, it is by Aura Loa. Uh, the artwork is Julie Boo Boo? Boo Boo? Booey Booey? Not quite sure how to pronounce the name. <laughs> But there will be a link down below in case uh, you are interested. Um, I've got a little bit done this past week, but not a huge amount. What I have done, though, is I have decided to put cover paper, printed cover paper on the whole picture. Um, this normally lives on my drafting table. Um, so it sits there. And yeah, I just decided to cover it all so that I can see it come to life as we go. Um, I am filming a little bit different today. Um, I am trying to get a bit more of a work-life balance. Uh, and as much as I love filming and I don't particularly consider sort of our whip and waffles as work, um, I do often do all of my filming at the weekend unless um, unless one of the kids is home and then I can sort of shut myself in here and let them deal with the door and Luna and everything else. Um, so often I just filmed at the weekend. It is the easier option for me personally to just film at the weekend. I don't then have the door going, any deliveries, um, Luna deciding that she wants to go chase a bird um, because she's very loud when she does uh, and all the rest of it. However, I have been missing having weekends to just be or do, especially now the weather's getting nicer. Um, there is a lot more sort of opportunity to get things done around the house, go out, get things done, whatever else at the weekend when everybody else is off work. Um, and yeah, I just miss being about a little bit more rather than, you know, fitting in, in effect, filming. Um, so I'm trying a new thing. It is currently a weekday. I am due a delivery in about half an hour. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'm due two deliveries today, but only one of them I can track. One is a, is a part for the printer or for one of our printers. I have no idea when that's coming. Another one is some more stock for an item. I know when that one's coming and that one's in half an hour. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm basically trying a new thing. I am in my craft room filming. The door is open. Luna is currently asleep on the couch, which is her favourite place to be. She does prefer it when I am sat next to her. Um, but yeah, she loves going to sleep on the couch much more than going to sleep on her bed in the office. So today I am having a test day of filming while Luna is about um, and then I can try and set myself you know a little bit of filming time each week uh, and try and get my videos done through the week um, and free up the weekends. Um, so do bear with me, do let me know if if anything gets sort of too distracting, uh, but do please be forgiving potentially for little, little blips within my filming. It is sort of real life, uh, but I'm hoping by doing this, my work life balance will be a little bit easier. Um, and yeah, I can enjoy the weekend. So, I thought I've done a couple of unboxing videos to sort of test this morning. She did manage to interrupt one of them, um, which I think actually goes up after this one. Uh, I think it's Friday's fan cells. So if you want to hear Luna and how loud she is, you'll be able to hear it in that one. Um, 
but she was really good for any other unboxings that I've sort of done in advance. They're shorter videos, so I thought let's just keep testing that. But she's been really good. She seems to have now settled down for a nap. Uh, and unless she gets distracted by the door or a bird, I thought, let's try a whip and waffle. Or if not, part of a whip and waffle. So you may find that I do part of this and then do part of it another time. We shall see how, how it goes. Um, but I will just, you know, when the door goes, I will have to, of course, shut off the camera and come back and apologise. But... Hopefully we can get some sort of system that works over the next few weeks. Uh, if you could bear with me while I sort of figure it all out uh, and, and get established when are the best times of the day to maybe film. Uh, when Luna's more settled or when less deliveries are likely to turn up. The thing is we have so many different couriers in the UK. And it doesn't help that the order that is due with me soon, uh, but I thought I will film a section and if need be, I will have a pause when the delivery is supposed to turn up. Um, but yeah, the delivery that, that I'm supposed to have in 30 minutes is actually the other half of my same order that was delivered this morning, uh, just before 10. So, for some reason, the DPD has split up my two parcels from the same company into two different delivery driver's vans. So, it's just adding to, to the times that things arrive for me. Today of all days, the day I've decided to try and see if I can film in the day. But anyway... I digress. We are on a whip and waffle today. Uh, I do have loads of comments, questions, etc. Uh, to go through. I am due a really, really long whip and waffle soon. Uh, whether this will be the long whip and waffle, we shall see. Um, I may try and spread it out over today and maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to be able to diamond paint this evening because... Um, it's hairdresser appointment time. So I may, you know, see how, how much of a whip and waffle I get to do today. And if it all works out well, I may try and do some more tomorrow. So it may end up being a long one. It may end up being a very short one and the rest gets saved till the weekend. So we shall see. Uh, but Jerry, she said she hasn't been able to diamond paint for a little bit. So she's just done some catch up. Uh, she says she's missed hearing my voice. Oh, thank you. Uh, this comment was actually left a couple of weeks ago. I'm that behind. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate it, Jerry. She said hubby and herself have been busy the last few weekends. Uh, they went to a cover band concert one weekend. Uh, and last weekend they went to visit her sister-in-law and celebrate her birthday. Uh, she said it started snowing at home while she was at work on Friday, so her boss told her to leave. Uh, the weekend, she didn't have any plans to do anything, so she did some diamond painting on Saturday and Sunday. And then today, Monday, as she's leaving the comment, she says she loves to diamond paint along with me and she appreciates all of what... I say in my videos. She says she also wants to say that she loves that you read out your subscribers comments. She says it feels more personal. She says keep doing what you do. I love the fact that I have the chance. These whip and waffles are, are my favourite videos to do. They are the longest. Um, you know they don't involve any sort of thinking or pre-planning apart from maybe trying to plan around deliveries but in general there's no planning uh, involved um, but I love it because I just sometimes I feel like oh well we're off to a cracking start <laughs> that was an unexpected delivery uh, it was it was royal mail it was one of the girls uh, a delivery for one of the girls so yeah, we're off to a great start. Um, 
yeah so as i was saying this this is the hard part is getting back on track uh after sort of pausing abruptly um but yeah i just i just love the fact that sometimes like typing a reply um it sometimes it's just not enough detail or you know you can't quite answer any questions or bring up any points that you think about because then it does seem a bit like rambling or waffling so yeah i absolutely love doing the whip and waffles i love the fact that each and every one is sort of different there may be some topics that stick about but there's some that don't um and i get to explain to you guys you know things that may have happened or things that are coming up or you know how the week's gone for example um so actually that reminds me there was a couple of things i did want to let you know about one is actually apologies that there was no videos up monday tuesday of last week um i did film last weekend as and breathe <laughs> that was the delivery i was expecting earlier than i was expecting it so um yeah apologies so yeah apologies about no video monday tuesday i actually had filmed last weekend um and then i had one video that i wanted to sort of film my drafting table set up so how I've got my bits and pieces, uh, I've also sort of tidied up my little Ikea cart, that was a loon yawn, um, I've tidied up my little Ikea cart, so I was going to show that in sort of the video, but then I didn't get a chance to actually film it on Sunday, uh, it would have involved kicking quite a few people out of the conservatory area so that I could film and I was busy getting stuff ready for shop launch and I completely forgot to film that one um, and then of course Monday I was straight into getting as many orders out from shop launch as possible which I'm happy to say I hit a new record for me uh, and the rest were sent out on Tuesday um, yeah, and I just completely forgot that I hadn't edited, uploaded and sorted out the rest of the week's videos because I was waiting on that one. Uh, by the time I realised, it was once I had finished um, all the orders and packing and sending out on Tuesday. So by the time I'd have got them onto the computer, uploaded all the rest of it, it just would have been loads later so yeah i i ended up uh, i will do the drafting table sort of tour and set up i've actually moved it into a little bit later on in my schedule uh, but i got the rest of the week's videos sorted out so apologies for that one uh, also i think the other I think I mentioned the number cover paper the other week that we have released, the number and the Zodiac cover paper. Um, I didn't include that in the shop launch video um, because I thought we were doing that in a future month. Uh, there was a miscommunication between just me and, and Megan. It was sort of on the list to get the shop listing ready for, but not necessarily for it to go live because we've got loads and loads of different things going on in the background that we're trying to prepare for some of them we're trying to prepare for them to arrive um, and loads of different ideas that we're trying to get organized on and yeah that was one that there was a bit of miscommunication and Megan put it on the social media post so we decided to just roll with it um, which also involved a lot more prep work on the Sunday than we were expecting. So tie those two things together and yeah, 
I forgot to have the videos prepared. So yeah, it's shop launch weekends and things. We're filming at the weekend, um, you know, and also doing YouTube at the weekend can definitely feel a lot more. Otherwise I can quite often get pretty much all of my filming done in one day um, if I hustle you know if I start early enough and don't have a lazy morning uh, and I can have a day that is classed as being off um, but yeah launch weekends are always a bit busier so yeah I'm trying a new way this is probably not the best example of it so far uh, but if you do bear with me I do think we'll be able to iron out the creases um, in how things happen I'm also hoping that, of course, over time, as I do more and more filming through the day, um, I may be able to gear deliveries that I know about. Let's ignore the clothes that have turned up for Megan. But deliveries I know about, I may be able to gear more towards, you know, ordering so that they arrive at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week. And I can do my filming on a, on a different on a different day so there's less interruptions uh, I'm also hoping that I will get better with the interruptions and just pause the video do what I need to do come back and just be able to carry on so it'll be a lot more seamless for you um, so yeah bear with me while I test this out and see if we can if I can get a flow and a routine and a rhythm um, because it's once I get that routine and rhythm that things are a lot more seamless or at least it will come across to you guys as definitely being a lot more seamless. <coughs> right, where was I? <laughs> um, Corinne says she thinks that she may have enabled Megan a little bit. Uh, she says she's put up a picture of her model Hogwarts and she knew she'd like it. She says it was a fab build uh, and now she just has to get the light set that goes with it. Um, I know Megan has done the Lego Hogwarts castle. That is one that she has built, the small version, because there's two different versions of the Hogwarts castle. Uh, she has done the smaller version. So I'm not sure if it was that one you put up uh, but if it was some sort of different style, then yes, you may well have attracted her to it. I've just heard Luna go chase after a bird. Let's hope that bird's blown away. Uh, Carrie, she says, amazing waffle again. Thank you. See how it is compared to this one. Uh, she says she thinks this month marks a year. Uh, since she found my channel she said and she is so grateful um, that she did she says all of their snow is starting to melt already our weather is all over the place at the moment uh, she says she has very slowly been able to work on a 30 by 40 round diamond painting after not being able to diamond paint since December due to migraines oh I don't think I could go that long without I get lost when I go a day without I think that's why I'm enjoying doing this whip and waffle today because I know I won't be able to diamond paint this evening um, because I'm at the hairdressers this evening so I know I'm by the time I get home I, I might do a paint gem but I'm more likely to sit on my phone and do nothing. <clears throat> um, she says she's working on very small sections uh, and then she is stopping if her migraine starts to get too bad. She says, thanks for another great waffle. Well, I'm so happy that you've been able to get some diamond painting in. Slow and steady. And we will all keep crossing fingers over here that things continue to improve and get better and better um, because not being able to do the things you love is frankly the worst not nice at all 
uh, mysterious days she said today has been a good day so far she says schooling has continued to become a daily part of her life uh, and with continued studying um, and practice testing she is scoring fairly consistently um, and she's sure that she'll pass her social studies GED test. Uh, spoiler alert she did uh, it was posted in the Facebook group um, but this comment was before it so well done you. Uh, she says she scheduled the test for Friday April the 12th which is now passed. Boom. Uh, she says she's nervous because she has testing anxiety and always has. I agree with you there. Being tested is never a good thing. Just the unknown. Uh, I'm with you on that one. All you can do is your best on that day. And all you can do on any, I mean, I know you've passed this one, but any in the future, all you can do is do your best. And if you walk out saying that you tried your hardest, then it is what it is. Regardless of, you know, the questions and the outcome, all you can say is you did the best you could in that moment. Not the best you could ever, because if, if anything does happen, <clears throat> you know, but you need to be confident that you've done the best you could in that moment, in that test. And as long as you've given that your all, then the rest will hopefully fall into place. <clears throat> and if not, then, you know, it wasn't meant to be at that time. And therefore, um, you try again. Um, she says she plans regardless of passing or failing to reward herself, which is true provided you've done the best that you could in that moment i think i think there's got to be that little caveat not you know yes it needs to be regardless of what the results are but you yourself need to know that you've done your best in that moment so you've got to take into account everything that's in your head at that time your mindset your anxiety everything but you need to be able to confirm to yourself not lying to yourself that you have done your best that you could in that moment uh, and taken, you know, the best go, not taken advantage of anything. And then, yes, reward yourself um, straight away. And then hopefully the rest will follow, which in this case it did. Um, she says if she passes, she gets both a diamond painting or storage supplies in a tray and a tray if she fails she only gets a tray she's hoping on passing she says wish me luck i like that i like the fact of, of a double reward if you pass um i do like that idea um but yeah you did fine you did absolutely perfect i already know by the time i'm reading out this comment so i can't say it as though i don't know um, but I, I'm sure all the work that you've been putting in, um, that any future exams and things, you will do your best and be rewarded for doing your best. Okay, let's try not dropping AB diamonds in the wrong place or on my desk. When I get to a section where it does have ABs, especially with lots of other different colours around it. I do like to try and get my AB diamonds down first because quite often they do need a little nudge, especially these ones. Um, the AB coating on these is, um, it's really shiny and really pretty, uh, but it is harder to pick up whether it's just the type of AB coating or whether it's just my pen has got, my wax pen has got remnants of other AB diamonds, which it probably has. I probably need to heat this up and sort of reshape it and get AB coating that's come off diamonds. 
and stuck on here off. I'm hoping, did I actually have exactly the right amount of diamonds? I think I did. Woohoo! That is very rare and extremely rare on camera, but I actually used all the diamonds in my tray. Um, yeah, I like to place all the ABs so that when when I place then when I place diamonds around them, if I need to use those diamonds to nudge them one way or the other, I can. Uh, and it just makes things it just makes it easier for me. I am concentrating primarily on sort of these blue colours at the minute, and then I may move on over here. Uh, as time goes on. I'm not committing to a set amount for this whip and waffle uh, because we're just going to see how it goes. I think I am going to try and get a longer whip and waffle in over today and tomorrow. Um, so there may be a break which we'll see whether you guys notice or not. In fact you might do because I'll have different clothes on. But Yeah, I might see how many comments and questions and stuff we can get through over the next couple of days. Uh, I Love Strawberries says, hi everyone. She says, a couple of thoughts she's got from the last few streams of comments. Uh, she says, her mum used the saying, a lick and a promise forever. Uh, and while we were talking about it, she said, my dad overheard. Uh, us and said he'd never heard it before. She says a book she was listening to recently um, also used the saying and it's set in Virginia. She said her mum's family is Dutch uh, and some English and her dad's is Irish and Maltese uh, and from Alsace, Lorraine territory. Um, yeah, it definitely seems to be, I don't know where it's originated from, like sort of if anybody's ever chased a saying back to its original sort of area, though somebody probably has. Not my cup of tea to do things like that, but uh, somebody's probably chased, chased it way back. Um, but yeah, I think I think now, especially with travel being so easy and, you know, people moving countries and places, I think the best sayings are going to end up sticking and spreading. Uh, and I think licking a promise is a good one. Some other good ones, but that one's a good one. Uh, she also says, she says, Lego is so dangerous. Yes, it is. Um, I go through phases with it where like I really really want to do Titanic but then it's waned off the past couple of weeks. I think because we've, I've been busy with shop launch and, and other things going on and I've not had as much time to diamond paint, um, I don't then think about Lego because I'm too busy thinking I want to be able to get some diamond painting done. Uh, but whereas when I have a calmer week where I'm able to diamond paint quite a lot, then I find myself thinking, oh, it'd be nice to do a bit of Lego for a change. So I go through phases when the urge to get more Lego is higher than other times. Uh, Hubby did buy me a couple of sets the other week and I did a bonsai tree uh, and I still have the little succulent pots to do. Um, so yeah, we'll see if Titanic ever makes it. It all depends on how much I get to diamond paint, I think. Uh, she says she has the desire to do Dragon Alley and Hogwarts Castle, also Rivendell. Good choices. Uh, she says she's a big Lord of the Rings fan though, uh, and she read the books well before the movies. She said the audio books are very nice, she said, especially the versions that are a cast of directors, cast of narrators, sorry, not directors. Um, she says she hasn't made a ton of progress on Cosmic Trip, uh, but she has finished three 30 by 40s, uh, and she's almost at the colourful part of the volcano. She says thanks for everything. 
Cosmic Trip is a gorgeous one for colour. It really, really is. Um, but yeah, I like the fact that you've fitted in others in between. Um, and I hope you are enjoying it, even if it is a spread out enjoying it. Um, I've just made a brew. Uh, my son came down to make a brew. So I was like, oh, mighty fine idea, boy. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> made myself a little brew. Um, so I am going to do another 20 minutes or so now. And then I need to go and pack orders and get everything ready for the postman. Uh, because it's a weekday. But yeah, I will get into the swing of things. I know I've said it already once, but I do just want to make it clear. This is going to be the worst one I'll be filming in the week for Whip and Waffles while I get a sort of pattern down and get things straight. And Luna gets used to it. Uh, at the minute, she keeps wandering a little bit in and out of the craft room, just checking. Uh, she's so used to me shutting the door on her when I come in to film in here. Um, but she's a lot calmer now she's a lot older I did try it about a year ago I think filming while she was wandering about uh, but she was a lot younger then and she just didn't cope the same way um, and I haven't given it a fair chance since so I think now is the time um, but yeah no it can only get better um, Mysterious Day, she says she knows that it's been discussed before. She says, but why do you put laundry out on the line to dry? She says, at least in America, it's common to have a washer and a dryer. Uh, she says, is it from the size of UK apartments slash houses? Um, a lot of it is, I think. I think there is a lot of houses that quite often aren't built um, for both. There are many houses that are blessed with a, what would you would call utility room, or what we'd call utility room, uh, which can house a washer and a dryer. Um, and some people do work that way. However, a lot of clothes, or at least I find a lot of clothes that we have can't actually be tumble dried there is a batch that can't be tumble dried um, and therefore hanging it out on the line to dry um, is is quite often sort of the normal or in our case at the minute a maiden because it can't decide when it wants to stop raining um, so yeah I think size of houses and not and just having a washer so we actually have what's what's a combi one so it is a washer and dryer uh, but the dryer takes so long it takes so much longer than a separate dryer uh, it costs a lot more to run and yeah just get used to you know putting it out on the line especially in the nice sunny days I absolutely love having a day of just doing catching up on all my washing and putting it out on the line uh, but it's amazing how much nicer I think it smells when it's been dried out on the line as well um, she says she knows they're small she says some even have a combined washer and dryer which yes we do though it's very very rare that I use the dryer um, she says, and in the kitchen or bathroom, she said, it's wild to me. Yeah, it tends to be stored in the kitchen. It tends to be where our washing machines are. Um, she says they have a dedicated laundry room. Even if small, it's fairly universal. Yeah, but a lot of houses in the UK, if you think of the, the population in the UK compared to the amount of land that the UK has, um, it is it is very very small so big houses are not normal in the UK smaller houses are normal in the UK um, so yeah it's just always been the way that it goes goes out on the line uh, and I say I actually really enjoy it when putting washing out on the line and once it's all been dried and bringing it back in I just yeah I love the smell of fresh washing I suppose it's just one of those 
cultural norms um but yeah by the time i've figured out what can and can't be tumble dried um you know even if i did have a designated room for it which you know this craft room could become one but it has definitely has more value to me as a craft room um yeah it's just it's just the way it's always been so even though you know some newer houses do have what you'd call a laundry room or a utility room as we'd call it uh, quite often you will find that that's just where people will put their washing to dry anyway uh, rather than necessarily using the dryer because electric ain't cheap uh, and it's definitely not cheap if you you know start drying clothes in that way when especially when you're not used to it uh, all things crafty by Kaz. She says, good afternoon, Rebecca, from a particularly cloudy Benidorm. <laughs> she says, uh, hubby and herself are having a fantastic time. Uh, and she said she loves my nails. Now, this is where you can tell how far behind I am because on Thursday's Whiffle Waffle, I'm pretty sure it was Thursday's Whiffle Waffle, uh, they were home from Benidorm. Um, but yes, my nails actually have got have definitely worn down the white has worn off in quite a few places uh, and i do have a few weeks before they are redone and that was the delivery i didn't know when it was coming mm -hmm. it's now here i have a fuser for our printer or for one of our printers hopefully cross fingers it will fix it um so yeah Hopefully my nails won't get too bad over the next few weeks, uh, but then I do have more regular appointments with my nail lady. So we'll see how adventurous I get over time. Uh, you'll also potentially see some different nails on different days, depending on how I film. Uh, I often, when I was having my nails done, I did try to make sure that I filmed in order so that my nails stayed in order. Um, but now I'm, I'm sort of over that. Um, when I was filming unboxing videos earlier, sort of testing Luna with me filming, sort of 10 minute videos, I actually filmed some that are for this month and some that are actually for next month um, because they're nice sort of quicker, shorter videos to test how she does. Um, so yeah, my, my nails are gonna vary over time. Uh, Blossom Chop, she says Tuscany is the one she's waiting to see from Paint Gem. Uh, I actually filmed that unboxing as well this morning. Uh, I can actually get quite a few unboxing videos in because they are like 10 minute videos. It's amazing how many I can get filmed in for example an hour. I can get four to five filmed. Uh, I think I got four filmed in an hour this morning. So yes, Tuscany and Flower 2, Flowers 2, um, which Paint Gem were actually kind enough to send me Flowers 2 quite a bit ago. Um, I've been waiting for it to release to be able to do the video on it. Um, and just because June Waffles coming up um, and because of the things I want to make sure that I get unboxed before we start the June Waffle, uh, I decided to club those together. Uh, but I think that video's due up. It's actually probably the beginning of May now. Um, just because of, of the way the sort of, I try to just do one unboxing video a week on this channel. Um, and then there's always one on. Quite often, there's, there's one on my other channel if you want more. <laughs> Uh, though those have slowed down as well just due to time constraints um, it's mainly coup deals over there but occasionally some of us uh, cat lady she says she's actually started a diamond painting Woohoo! Uh, she says she knits knitted a shawl for her friend last week uh, and that needs blocking uh, she's currently doing a 40 by 60 in round 
uh, to get her back into it all. Uh, last Sunday's vlog, she says, didn't show in the UK until 5 p.m. Um, or the Monday vlog, she says, not a problem for me. That must be then because I scheduled the videos for 4 p.m. UK time before the clocks changed. So something must have happened within YouTube on the weekend our clocks changed or the, the week after our clocks changed um, to shove them all over um, so that they're so that they ended up being an hour later. So I do apologise for that. I will try and remember uh, for the next clock change, but I can't guarantee I will because there's quite a few months between the two. But at least next time, if I schedule them for four and then YouTube changes it later, um, at least then it will be an hour earlier, supposedly. We shall see what the YouTube decides to do to that one. Um, but yeah, that does make sense that it is the clock change and YouTube has, instead of actually picking the time that I've chosen, has just changed all scheduled videos to change by the hour. Um, whether that is because they were set to, even though I choose the UK time to upload it, maybe because it's an American company in the background that converts it to the American time um, for their systems. And then because the UK clocks have changed, the American clocks didn't change. So therefore it didn't take it into account. Maybe that's what's happened. I don't know. I could spend a while trying to figure it out or uh, you can just know that at least the videos went up <laughs> and we'll take that. It definitely wasn't me this time though. It wasn't me forgetting to upload. <laughs> uh, Blossom Chop, she says the colours in this painting um, are absolutely glorious. She says they are some of her very favourites. Uh, yes, I have really enjoyed the colours in this one. Um, I think they are beautiful colours and just the way they come together I mean even just this section here the way they come together and the way the different colours pop is just <sighs> chef's kiss absolutely beautiful and I love it right where am I up to I'm trying to sort of not get some of these pinks here because I know they're over here so I'm trying to stick to the colours that more stay over this side for now. Though, of course, I have had the odd one that moves over. Uh, but I didn't want to miss that single diamond on its own. So I probably could have put these just into the lid. Uh, but there is quite a few of them. And then I might try and reshuffle my painting across because I will end up doing quite a bit more as we move across. Um, I think, say, I am going to film today and then tomorrow when I'm not expecting any deliveries. <coughs> so unless the kids have been ordering, we should be a lot better off tomorrow. Uh, but I think it would be daft not to continue over. I'm ignoring the fact that all these blues have just been done. I'm peeling that one off ready for these colours so that I can sort of get everything that would be here. Um, which is sort of the way I work when I'm working in an evening. Uh, I do tend to sort of peel off a couple of sections and I will work up to that section. But like in this case, I would have done all this blue and then I would have thought, oh, actually, I have got more time. Let's go up to the fox's bum. Um, let's colour in his mum. Um, so yeah, I'm going to uncover that just in case there's the odd, you know, single letter of something. I'd rather get it than have to keep taking my pots in and out and cover it all. 
Right, so I had a drink of my brew. I've just noticed this letter C, I think there is only the one. So definitely a pot dip for that one. But then I think we start getting into where they spread out a little bit. Oh no, maybe that bow doesn't. This bow one looks to be only here. It's very, very pale blue. But that one doesn't seem to spread into the other section. So we'll fill those bits in before we start hitting the pinks that definitely do spread over and that upside down L that definitely goes into the foxes behind or side maybe that bit's in. Um, Margaret, she says, hi Rebecca. She says she loves the cover papers uh, that she ordered from me. She says the mystery ones are good. She says, thanks. Yeah, we do pop we do pop on the shop um, or there is one on the shop that's sort of a, a set of mystery cover papers. It's eight sheets um, in the seven and a half by ten. And they are um, individual, so they're all different. All eight are different. Uh, some of them are designs that maybe we printed um, a sheet. So every month that we do our limited cover papers, we actually print more. Uh, we print quite a few designs. And then we decide which ones we want to become sort of the set of the month. Um, so there may be, you know, the odd sheet that is one that's never made it to the shop. Uh, sometimes we also have some stock ones in there, the odd stock sheet or the odd one of these. So one of the one of the reasons I've got a printer part to come in is we've got two printers, two laser printers now. Uh, and one of them has actually been playing up a little bit. I had the engineer out to it yesterday. Um, but when it's been playing up, it's actually been putting sort of black toner on some of the paper, including some of the cover paper. Um, so, of course, we don't put those sheets in anything. Those sheets get thrown. Um, but in turn, if the, the rest of the, the sheet, in effect, that we cut down... It's, it's an odd number, so it doesn't go into a pack. Individual pieces go into sort of this mystery sample pack. So if it ever shows out of stock, just know it will probably come back in stock again uh, after I've done the next batch of cover paper um, because we tend to print it in-house and then what we've printed, two sheets become a normal pack um, and then any bits that are left over. There's also some that when we've been testing printer settings, so the colouring may be a little bit off uh, in some of the sample sort of mystery cover packs, some of the printing may be off to the ones that we sell for full price. So just, just to clear that one up, but they will come in and out of stock as and when I do, I actually sort out some of the, the pieces that have been put to one side as not quite good enough. <laughs> not quite good enough for full sale. Right, I've brought a brew in with me again. So if you hear me have a slurp from my brew. <laughs> I've, I've packed all the orders for today, got them all ready for the postie. Um, and the postie is going to be here soon. But I... I was, uh, I can time the postie though, so like he, he comes at a set time every day, so I can stop filming before he turns up. Um, but yeah, I was, I was like, I really, really want to continue doing the whipple waffle, and I was like, shall I squeeze some more in before the postie comes, and I go out to get my hair done, and I was like, yes. <laughs> It's that in between time that if I hadn't have been filming today, I would have prepped something in the shop um, because I tend to spend most of my day in there. But then I was like, but if I start something now, I feel like I'm 
not quite going to be able to finish it so like I want to I want to just do more of my whip and waffle and see how long it ends up being uh, I think I am going to do it over a couple of days um, so you will get a long one so I apologize for the bittiness of some of this and the sort of where I'm very much in and out um, but I say it's a trial thing hopefully by the by the end of a long whip and waffle I'll have it nailed it down as to how how to sort of manage my time better in the day but yeah um Caroline she says hi Rebecca and all and all zesties she says she hopes you all we're all having a great weekend and sheltering from the wind and rain uh she's checking in from antigua antigua uh and this is their last week uh of their three caribbean island vacation sounds absolutely delightful um, she says she's due back on Friday uh, and they're not looking forward to meeting up with Storm Kathleen. She says she's hoping that she has blown herself out uh, by the time they return. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, we have had some horrific weather recently. Um, April showers has completely lived up to its name. Uh, we have all seasons in one day uh, so we've had glorious sunshine rain hail wind the whole lot all in one day here um, it seems to yeah it, it can't pick a weather per day at the moment it just seems to like them all um, but yeah all, all we can hope is that it's going to get better as the day goes on days go on but we shall see right if i got all of that one okay i've got one more color now that i just have a couple of and then i am fully sort of into the fox side of the painting which makes it very exciting very exciting right let me get this color see this is where i end up being i feel like i'm a bit all over the place sure you guys will set me straight or tell me that I am <laughs> uh, mysterious days she says that she finds that multi-placing rounds is harder than multi-placing squares I can see that there's definitely an element of that I know when I four place with rounds I definitely only ever pick up four diamonds whereas with squares sometimes I can pick up five um i sort of get that odd bit where i pick up five but with rounds no chance uh, and it's definitely a little bit harder i think to line them up just because of butting them up to one another but i also don't multi-place rounds anywhere near as much so it may be that i just haven't had the practice the same way i have with squares who knows maybe i'll get more practice as time goes on though this painting isn't the ideal one for it um she says with rounds the most she can consistently and comfortably place down at once is four uh, but when it comes to squares she can place up to ten uh, she but she does prefer seven so she prefers seven but she can get up to ten um, additionally she says placing vertically is only easier with rounds um, as placing horizontally is much harder she said especially with guide circles around the symbols which she despises I'm with you on that one I'm not keen on the little circles around the symbols when it comes to rounds um, I much prefer them to be like this painting um, 
because still occasionally I'll get them a little bit off and be able to see some of the symbol. Um, but if they've got those circles around them, I feel like you really have to get them exact to not show the training wheels. Um, so she says she can multiplace either way fairly easily with squares. Uh, she said, and it's odd, she said it's probably her needing to practice horizontal placing with rounds uh, but lately she's come to enjoy single placing um, more than she used to maybe it's because you're allowing yourself to vary it up uh, I do really enjoy single placing I found I can get pretty quick especially if I move my tray around to where I'm doing which I do more so when I'm sat at my drafting table diamond painting more so than when I'm diamond painting here just because I'm, I'm sort of at a different level to the painting uh, depending on which place I am um, but yeah it's I, I, have, I only four place anyway so I find that four placing is not so bad with either and I think that's why I've kept it as that sort of my happy little spot is four placing uh, because I can do it with both and I don't have to think. Apologies, I have no idea what Luna is barking at. She's probably heard Lewis upstairs. Um, she also hears the kids coming home from school at around this time uh, and decides that it is worth barking at them too because, you know, they're only small humans and they need a shouting at every now and then according to Luna. And all they dare to do is walk past the house. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a school at the bottom of our road. So quite often I've already had to shut the conservatory door because she can hear the kids going past. And occasionally she catches sight of them out of the front room window. Um, but luckily she can't get any closer than that. So she doesn't actually get to scare the kids i think she just thinks she's doing that um mysterious days also says she sort of, also if you're okay with waiting she says for de-kittings she says she much she'd much prefer for me to do it on camera uh, she said your thoughts and the process is quite entertaining uh, she says, and when do your zesties complain about a 30 to 60 minute video from you? <laughs> That's true. They don't. They don't at all. Yeah, I, I don't so much mind saving my de-kittings provided they are in my schedule. So therefore I know they'll get done. Um, I, I, it, the only time it bothers me is when I'm itching to kit up like another big one uh, and I think it's because a lot of my decision wheel choices for the beginning of 2024 were all smaller paintings and I was itching to start a big one uh, whereas now because this painting this bigger one has been ongoing for a few weeks and will probably still be ongoing for a few more weeks I feel like when it comes time to de-kit this one, um, if need be, I'd be happy with there being a little break between the de-kitting and the kitting up um, because then I can work on walking in the rain for a little bit. Uh, and I do like to be able to change it up and work on that one for a bit. But I felt like every, every other week I was working on walking in the rain last time. Um, just because it was all 30 by 40s and I had time to diamond paint, the amount of time I have to diamond paint can vary uh, week on week. And yeah, I just ended up having a lot of time to diamond paint when I was doing my 30 by 40s and therefore they got finished really quickly and I sort of got backed up a little bit. Whereas now I'm on a big one, I don't seem to have anywhere near as much time. Uh, if you can hear that noise in the background, Luna is deciding to scratch my rug. Uh, she has smelt something on the rug in my craft room. Goodness knows what it is, uh, but she has smelt it and she is deciding to scratch the life out of my rug before she will settle down and 
fall asleep. <laughs> the joys of a dog. Will you just settle down? See, she's laid down now. She's laid down underneath my drafting table uh, while I'm filming this. So maybe we'll have some peace and quiet. Right, have I missed any? I've already noticed one I've missed of this pink one and I'm trying to ignore it in case there's any others. But I'm just trying to check if I've missed any of this. I do think I need to move over actually to ABs and do some ABs in this section. <coughs> so let me grab... Um, let me grab my pickup pen again. I have a few different ones up there and I just go for whichever one I grab. But this one did have quite a pointy tip. So I think I'll use this one. I have three different ABs that are in this section. Which end? Ah, I haven't put a sticker on this one. I have two black ones. One of them has a sticker on to tell me which end to open it. Uh, and all my other pens don't. It's one of those things that I need to do. Just bob a sticker on them so I know which end to take off quickly. And I've just not got around to doing it. And I don't know why, because the stickers are right here. Mainly because I think when I do go to use them, I'm normally sat down and I don't want to get up. So laziness stops me from just doing it. One of these days I will end up opening the wrong end of the pen just one too many times and I'll end up doing it. Um, she also says, uh, Mysterious Days also says, she says, it is really one of, is it really one of my comments? She says, if there isn't edits uh, and it being super long. I don't notice the edits as much. Sometimes it does tell me it's been edited, uh, but I don't know what it's been edited from and to, if that makes sense. Uh, but she says, how on earth do you manage uh, to not e immediately open up the kits um, and take a peek when they arrive? She says, whenever she gets a new kit, uh, she immediately has to look at the canvas, the drills, um, and see what cover man, minder and washi tape that she got. Uh, training is the main thing. Um, I've sort of, I suppose, over the years of doing YouTube, I sort of trained myself. Um, and, and lack of time. So it is partly training myself to not open them until I could do the video. Um, if I am going to do a video sort of quite a bit earlier, then it's maybe going up on YouTube. More often than not, it's an unboxing video that I do that with. Partly because... Um, they, I often like to do my unboxing videos in, should we say bulk, it doesn't always work that way, uh, but sometimes I do. So earlier on this morning, I actually did three, my three other fan cells videos. I order the stuff for fan cells um, with enough paintings to do four videos. So every couple of months, um, I place an order with fan cells for the videos for the next couple of months. And ideally I like to do all four at once. Um, however, because I was late ordering, um, because I got busy uh, and didn't quite realize how the month end was creeping up on me. When it arrived, I, I was short of time that weekend. So I had to do one for, I think it was last week. Anyway, I had to do one video um, to be prepared, ready to go up, but I didn't have the time to do all four at once. Um, but yeah, if I'm going to do a video early, it tends to be an unboxing, partly because I do want to see um, what they look like and get excited over the canvases and all that sort of stuff. Um, plus, they're sort of easier ones to do in advance. My whip and waffles, I, I only do sort of a few days in advance. Apart from that, I don't do it any much 
much more in advance than that. Does that make sense? Um, because I like to keep those a lot more current and on topic. Um, but other ones, if I can sort of squeeze them in, I can, especially on boxings. Uh, and that's also partly because it is a lot easier for me to get all the links to all the paintings that I've got and everything else all in one sitting, rather than having to do it every week and do them that way. Uh, so, yeah. I, I A lot of it is, is training and there is many a times that I will just put a package in this craft room and not open it uh, because I just don't have the time yet uh, but if I do have time to do videos in advance then often it will be unboxing videos that I will go straight for uh, because it saves me time when it comes to editing and links but I also get to see what the paintings are <laughs> uh, and get to sort of have a good old gander at everything. Uh, in relation to cover minder and washi tape, I, I, to be honest, even if it is like a, a Diamond Art Club one that has those things, I, I don't half. I only really open the toolkit for the sake of the camera. Apart from that, I'm really not bothered about the toolkit. Um, I have quite a lot of washi tape, and I don't use cover minders. So because of that, they don't excite me the same way. Uh, I get more excited when it comes, and I'm more impatient when it comes to kitting up a painting. And sometimes it is my kitting up videos that I will do in advance, just so that I can know what the decision wheel is going to pick um, and what painting I'm going to be working on next, because I get excited. Um, Lives, she says she is in the process of the autism assessment uh, and it's going to take ages for her, she thinks. Um, and she thinks she or may also have ADHD too. Uh, it doesn't surprise me, education on ADHD and autism is a lot more sort of out there. Um, and it is answering a lot of questions for a lot of people, I think. Um, but yeah, it, in turn, the process for getting, in effect, the official um, diagnosis is taking a lot, lot longer. Uh, and I think all you can do in the meantime, um, and, you know, this is happening to people I know too, um, and I don't want to discuss, I suppose, my personal non-diagnosis of anything with as, as much because I've not been diagnosed with either. Uh, I have my beliefs on what I do and don't have. Um, but yeah, until I've got an official diagnosis, I don't feel like it's as right to speak out. Does that make sense? Uh, but all I can say um, is, is the research on things that can help that is not necessarily medication, even just research to have an understanding can help hugely. Uh, that's my personal experience is education on it can help hugely just on um, understanding and things that can help um, and things to maybe change that can assist. Uh, that's what I recommend um, for anybody that does think they have it and is waiting for the process. Uh, just trying to find my jam jar. This is the AB diamond that has a load that are stuck together and I like to use all the ones that I can in my tray and then whatever's left if I still need to place diamonds then I put them in my jar with my bolt as per my tips and tricks the other day and then tip them back into my tray and use them up so my little jar has been stored in my little drawer underneath um, my drafting table 
and then I can go through and place the diamonds. There's still a couple that are still clumped together. It's either because they're too stubborn or it's because the nut in the jar didn't quite hit them just because of the amount I had in there. But once I've got to the point that I've put down as many as I can, then I just put them back in and they'll get got another time. I figure they will get used up eventually. Right, that was a little bit more off topic. But yeah, if you do believe that you have them, then educate yourself. Um, in ways and things that you can do that can help you while you're waiting for potentially an official diagnosis and then you know more options may open up for you uh, depending on what suits you for me for now I have caffeine <laughs> Uh, Libs also says she says her ideal suitcase is with all the treats yes that was definitely the best suitcase um it did surprise the guys in australia when we went through um to declare because i think i also had uh, fruit and nut chocolate um, and while it is allowed into australia because it has nuts in it uh, you do need to declare it and in effect it has fruit in it as well uh, it is something that is allowed in and they do always wave me through with it uh, but i do need to show it them um, so it's always fun when i used to open that second suitcase and all they would see is chocolate and crisps <laughs> but i'm sure they see that amount of stuff very often whether they see it in one lone suitcase who knows but they definitely did this time <sighs> maybe i should do it on the way back like i always end up with loads of different different things um but maybe i should uh fill it with the australian sweets that i like on the way back more than spreading my clothes out and having a bit of both in both cases right i'm sort of trying to decide whether to sort of get this bit this yellow bit on the top or whether to go around for the darker part i'm not quite sure which one i want to do Right, I'm going to go for going back to my staple, to my default, because I can't quite decide. And I keep thinking, yes, I'd like to do this dark stretch, but then there's a load of that over here as well. Um, so I'm going to go back to my default stance of whichever is the most left. And I'm just doing that colour until it gets to the point where I end up with some colours potentially you know trapped in a little bubble and then i'll adjust uh busy lizzie she says happy evening she says herself uh she loves a 10 placer wow um she says if a kit has a whole load of color blocking of only one or two colors uh, then she'll switch to a 15 placer oh my goodness me i am nowhere near that kind of multi placer this this little itty ditty ditty four placer is plenty for me uh she says what is your youngest daughter studying she says uh and at which university she said just out of curiosity uh she says she understands if i don't want to answer uh she's doing something along the lines of, i don't know the full course name without sort of asking her but it's basically egyptology um like egyptology and ancient history and um, she's doing it at a uni that's only about half an hour away from us actually so it's quite good that she's pretty local uh she says she is a student studying studying biomedical sciences uh, and she has to do two essays over the easter break uh, ready for the first week back 
she says she'd rather do essays than assessments uh, because she always doubts herself um, and if it's closed book meaning no notes then she panics a lot uh, she says which is one assessment that she will be doing in three weeks time uh, she says she does understand the frustration, she says, but she'd, if she'd have to pick, she'd rather do essays over assessments. Uh, she said, what's her thoughts about this? Um, I mean, she's currently back at uni at the moment. Um, she's not due back for at least a couple of weeks. Um, but I would say essays over assignments um, would definitely be what she'd prefer, probably for the same reasons as you do um, and just the whole you know wondering as to whether the knowledge sticks in there she definitely prefers essays over oh there's another one essays over tests um, or exams um, and quite a f though quite a few of her sort of assessment slash exam type things are actually 24 hour essays so it's like it's classed as a 24 hour exam um, and you're then given the topic and you have 24 hours to plan and write your essay um, which she much prefers to like a sit down you know one hour answer these questions exam she definitely prefers those uh, she said sorry for the uni talk she says but she just rambles on she says a, a fellow rambler here all ramblers are welcome that is what we do uh, she said, speaking of the Australian phrase, she says of build a bridge and get over it. She says she understands the shortened version uh, that her family and neck of the country, uh, but they just say get over it <laughs> instead of build a bridge. She says, which the latter sounds more polite than our version. <laughs> yes, which is probably true for a lot of Australians. Give the polite version. Um, but basically you are saying get over it just in a nice way uh, Paula she says hi Rebecca she says she hopes all is well with me and she's looking forward to this month's launch thank you I hope you enjoyed it um, it has calmed down I've I mean I probably picked the what wrong week to try and fit YouTube into a working week um, because I've got quite a lot of restocks to sort of do to keep myself going for the month uh, but it's also probably the best time to try and get that routine down pat um, but yes yeah, so she's gonna get some trays and putty as she's never used it before uh, she's just been using the wax oh my goodness me you will find it an absolute dream if all you've been doing is using wax um, the only main difference you will find with putty or one thing more to note with putty that I found um, though I primarily just use putty in my multi placer I use a glue dot in my single placer um, is when the putty you know starts getting a bit more stringy and, and not picking up as well I find that it's quite often it's better to replace the putty especially if you're using a metal placer because like with the wax it just keeps on the plastic tip pens it just keeps moving itself up um, and comes out like this little wiggly worm um, but I find putty works better if you sort of remove the whole lot and then refill uh, and that's what I found in my multi placer that when it stops picking up as well or it potentially sticks and gets a bit sort of stringy is take the whole thing out and replace the whole lot um, it will still last you an eternity um, but yeah just just replace it but it will last a whole lot longer than wax um, that's for sure that's what I found for definite um, she says she's loving the colours in the painting she says she's never bought from aura lower or paint gem yet she says but she will <laughs> you'll get your way around all the different companies um, and get to to try them soon enough in fact by the time this video goes up i think my new aura lower painting will have been the vid the unboxing video 
would have been up. I think it would. It's it's actually going up this Friday. Uh, this Friday to me. Friday just gone to you guys, uh, and it's an absolute gorgeous painting. I can't wait to sort of add that one to my stash too. I think the few or lower paintings that I've got here to open over the next few months uh, are going to keep sneaking their way into my stash um, and they are so nice to work on. They are definitely up there with the other high-end companies in my opinion um, to work on. Uh, busy Lizzie, she says sorry another comment she says she's curious she says would you create a video dedicated to your wish list from both dreamer designs and diamond art club um, she says depending on the sizes she says they could both be in one video um, or if there's too much than two videos she says as she's watched others uh, and she finds it intriguing to know and see if we have some of the same um, just an idea she says if you're stuck with ideas for videos uh, I'll definitely pop that on my list I know there's a few that are sort of on my wish list in my head rather than on my wish list on the site um, so I will pop myself a little to do to make sure that I update my wish lists or my virtual wish lists rather than my brain um, and then yeah I'll see if I can pop in I like to have you know videos that you guys want to see that are also just that little bit different um, even if I can just mix them in with everything else and sometimes it's it's great like when I'm you know slowly working through this painting at the moment I don't have many de-kittings and things because I've just not finished any paintings recently so it's also nice to sort of mix in these few different things and then have a couple of weeks where de-kittings and kitting ups come back and then go back to uh, things that are a little bit different instead so yeah I will pop that down as an idea um, and try and get my wish lists updated so that I can give you a true reflection um, and then as soon as I can sort of schedule it in I try to schedule things in advance but then of course if I finish a kit things get pushed back a little bit um, so I can keep up to date with de-kitting and kitting up because then my whip and waffles make sense um, but yeah I've got quite a few sort of random ideas and tips and trick videos and all the rest of it sort of scattered um, within my videos at the moment so I will add that one in there um, and yeah it will appear at some point um, Lady Dax uh, she says she's having a bit of a rough time health wise at the moment oh. so she's really looking forward to launch on Friday to cheer her up she says much love to you and all the zesties well you take care of yourself for sure um, I'm sure P Jelly is as well looking after you um, but yeah both of you really you know just take care of you primarily um, and we're all crossing fingers praying all the rest that you will get a relief from it all um, and things will get better uh, Grey Legrand, she says she agrees about maintaining a wish list uh, in the event that something restocks. Uh, she said single canvases need a body to take the share of the free shipping. So true. Uh, she says she may be guilty of that within the last 10 minutes. She says Rainy Day by Hannah Lynn just restocked on Diamond Art Club. Uh, so Gary from Spongebob tagged along <laughs> absolutely love it <laughs> absolutely love it that is the pure reason for having a wish list 
um, and especially when you know it could be a borderline free shipping because if you start if you start and I know I do exactly the same thing which is why I'm saying it uh, but if I then start going through the website thinking oh what should I add should I add this should I not I will end up with more than just one body in the cart I could end up with loads of buddies so by having a wish list and just transferring one of them um, stops me going for as much of a browse and um, though as I say a few of my wish list are more um, in my head you know that I've seen on sort of launch emails and thought that's nice I might get that in the future um, so I could end up with a bigger wish list than I think when I actually go through and put them on the official virtual wish list. Oops. Uh, Deb, she says, hi Rebecca. She says she hopes me and the family are doing well. We are, thank you. Uh, she says, during your craft room tour video, um, she remembers me showing a little cute bee book knock um, that was built by your daughter. She says she would love to see a closer look at this. Uh, she thinks doing one of them would be enjoyable. She says thank you for the wond wonderful whip and waffle. Um, I do actually have a close up of that one Deb. It is just on my second channel. Uh, which is where I showed the unboxing of it as well. So if you want to see like it, how it arrives, um, I've got, if you search um, or if you click on the link in the description below for my other channel, which is Add More Zest with Diamonds. Uh, and if you search QB, you will find um, I've got a video where I unbox the first book nook and then there's a second video unboxing a book nook but I show the first um, because she completed it by then so it is over there right have I got all of these I feel like I just have to take a minute to check before I annoy myself Luna is currently flat out on her side under my drafting table with her head sticking out from under my chair <laughs> Uh, but she is absolutely sparko. That is until um, I stop this video in about 10 minutes because the post is due <laughs> and she goes mad at him. But anyway, um, Anna, she says she has the Titanic and the Millennium Falcon kits. She says, but they're not Lego brand. She says, so they're much less expensive. Uh, she says the blocks are smaller than Lego blocks. Um, she says she hasn't had a chance to build them yet uh, since she's working on the Eiffel Tower at the moment um, and has others to do first. Um, I like with the, uh, well, with Lego, the Millennium, Fa Millennium Falcon, they actually brought out a smaller one um, over the last couple of months. I think they've been bringing out quite a few Star Wars kits because it's hit. 25 years I think uh, so there's been quite a few new releases I haven't looked at the new new releases because that can be dangerous for me um, not so much the Star Wars but the other stuff they release uh, but Hobby did get the smaller Millennium Falcon from Lego um, and that one's really cute and I do have a tour of our Lego on my video list as well um, in fact that might even be coming up that might be coming up this next week um, depends if I need to shuffle some stuff about according to what I get to film and what I don't uh, but it'll be up in the next few weeks anyway all right I'm going to pop in this L because if I go to the R there's a load of it everywhere but if I fill in this it sort of fills in this last little bit uh, because I do need to wrap up for today um, so that I can go and deal with the postman and then go and get my hair done um, but 
you guys won't see much of a break and you'll see me back tomorrow uh, where we go through more comments um, which I need to stop chatting as much <laughs> over each one uh, or maybe I just need a couple of weeks of long whip and waffles we shall see um, but yeah I will be back with you guys tomorrow uh, and we will do some more of this fox um, and answer or read out some more comments and chat some more hello so it's a new day for me same day for you guys um, but I hope you're still doing good even though it's not been long for you <laughs> um, whenever I occasionally I do have a whip and waffle that sort of splits over two days of me filming it it's very rare it's normally my really long ones but oh my goodness me it does kind of confuse me over what I've spoken about and what I've not uh, but I am hoping to do a couple of sort of longer whip and waffles um, not well I say not too long um, I'm gonna do a bit more on this one today which will make it a long one and then I might try and do provided my doing YouTube in the week works I might try and make next week a longer one as well until I sort of get caught up with the comments and then um, if I am filming in the week I'm kind of hoping that I can just run through all the comments uh, and it's as long as it is long <laughs> Excuse me, and that sort of determines how long my whip and waffle is. But to get to said comments, um, Sandra, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she hopes I'm doing well. I am. Thank you. Uh, she said it's been three months or so or more since she's commented. Um, she kind of lost the bug for diamond painting by the end of December um, after trying to complete so many during that month. Bit of burnout. Uh, she said, but she did fall down the Lego, the rabbit hole with her Lego after getting the Orient Express for Christmas. She said, so for the last three months, she's been creating a small Lego city uh, in the corner of her bedroom using the modular building she has and creating mocks from old Lego city sets she had, um, as well as a few new ones. She said it's coming near completion now. Um, which she's glad of because her diamond painting bug is returning. Awesome. So glad it's coming back as well. Uh, she says she's ordered three paint gem kits to get her started again. Uh, and she's already ordered the display books to put them in, which she's received. Thanks. Awesome. Nice to know they've got their safe. Uh, she said she would love the Titanic Lego set too, uh, but finding room to display it would be a problem. Yes, um, the only reason we're thinking of the Lego set primarily is um, we have a really, really deep conservatory windowsill. Um, and we're thinking of possibly putting it on there, but nothing nothing's yet decided nothing's yet purchased but i'm sure if if we do have a cave <laughs> at some point and pick it up i'm sure it is something that i will let you guys know of uh, and let you know that we finally caved in and got it uh, christine said hi rebecca and zesties she said she has taken up the painting of ye old stitching room again she says now that she has finished her custom painting uh, she's been using the five multi-placer with putty from the 2023 advent calendar um, she says she hasn't used putty before and it is a bit different um, but she's getting used to it it does take a little bit, I think, to get used to working with putty. The same way it, it takes a little bit to get used to glue dots as well. 
and sort of getting them to their optimum prime um, but yeah I think I mentioned it earlier on in this video which was yesterday for me uh, but the one trick I have found with putty in multi places is when it starts getting a bit stringy and not working as well just take out the whole lot and put more in rather than try and top it up like you might do with wax I personally have just found that a lot easier uh, she said on the health front, she's talked to a lady at pre-admissions on Friday uh, and she was told that the anaesthetist will be contacting her soon. Um, although they can't give her a date to operate on her kidney stones, she reckons that they are two good omens of progress. Yes, progress is good. She said she loves my butterfly cover sheets. Uh, but she wants to colour them in. So colour them in. They're, they're, they are there so you can colour them in. We do have a black, uh, black and white doodle set. Um, and I keep meaning to colour one of those in as well. It's sort of something that I want to give a bit of a try and a test. Um, so I do have it on my list to do some colouring in with some sort of different pens depending on what I can find just so that you can see how different pens affect it uh, I need to find out what the kids have got um, pens wise so hopefully over the next few weeks I'll be able to get some some coloured in and see what they look like but yeah colour it in it's it's paper on the top um, it is say so it's printed with a laser printer so it's not soluble the same way an inkjet printer is. Um, so it's kind of ideal for potentially colouring in. I just haven't tested, you know, if any certain types of pens bleed through. Um, and I don't think it would necessarily affect your canvas, but you never know. You never know how things can affect it. But definitely colouring pencils, all the better. They would just well and truly work. Uh, Kim, she says, well, as long as I'm not stressed over having so many kits to de-kit, uh, she said then she's happy to watch every one of them. <laughs> yeah, I kind of get used to with filming having things that are sort of set waiting to be filmed. Um, I've currently got sort of a pile in my craft room that has the foam board for my spare storage because that's something else that I want to film uh, and of course I filmed the tray storage and doing that um, so I brought all the stuff in ready to do it and I don't want to put it away until I've done my spare storage uh, it kind of helps me to sort of see everything in one sort of pile and place to go this is my it's like a visual to-do list um, so yeah and I haven't had a de-kitting for weeks now even though I had quite a few that were waiting <clears throat> I haven't had any for weeks now because um, I'm still working through my paint gems because I've done three instead of just doing one set at a time otherwise I'd have some um, and I'm still of course working on this aura lower uh, but maybe a few more big whip and waffles and maybe I'll be getting through this a little bit more too. Um, she says Saturdays on YouTube is a barren landscape for new videos on diamond painting. Oh, I never thought of that. Maybe I should readjust some of my schedule a little bit to make Saturdays in there. I just sort of picked two days that I normally, in general, don't put a video up. And occasionally it shuffles. Um, but if, if Saturday's a barren landscape, then maybe I need to have a reshuffle and see if I can sort of get one of them, shift one of them to a Saturday or something. Oh, look, I've missed one. Who else spotted that one? 
I've just spotted one of those little backwards arrows. It's the last symbol I did and I missed it. Oh well, I guess I'll I'll get to that one in a mo. Um, she says, so last Saturday she decided to reread one of her favourite books by Kristen Ashley. Uh, she thought she would just read a bit and be able to go to sleep. <laughs> nope. <laughs> She said she finally forced herself at 3.30 a.m. to close the book since she had to get up at 7 for church. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, she said she found that closing the book didn't turn off the brain. Uh, so she switched over to YouTube to re-watch some of my old preparation videos. She said that took her mind off the book. She said, so thanks again for your playlists. And she said, yes, I was a bit sluggish during church. I am not surprised. That's the only thing. When you stay up late, sometimes you're just like, Do you know what? Forget it. I'm staying up late. I'm enjoying myself. You know, or you just don't move and you think, oh, I'll be fine. And then the next day you're like, why did I do this to myself? Why did I allow this to happen? I do it all the time. Um, Kim has also said, she said another occasion, she said for this upcoming week, <coughs> which for her, as she's written this comment, was the 8th of April. So I'm slowly catching up. She says uh, they're having a solar eclipse uh, and where she lifts, lives in northwest Indiana, uh, there will be a 90% coverage. Uh, she said their local library was giving away the eclipse glasses. So she went to pick up a pair for hobby. Sorry, I'm just putting a diamond in the wrong place. Uh, she said he's a truck driver to take feed for pig and cattle farms in the area. Uh, he says he delivers meals on wheels. <laughs> Love it. She says, and she knows that he would still try to look at the eclipse whether he had the glasses on or not. Uh, it doesn't really thrill me, she says, so she didn't get a pair for herself. Um, she said she guesses further south in Indiana there is a 100% eclipse uh, and officials are warning about crazy traffic problems. Uh, she says she plans to stay in and stay safe. Uh, she said Hubby has been truck driving for 40 years um, so he just has to watch out for the other loonies on the road. Half the problem, that is, the, half the time, that is the problem. It's the other loonies on the road um, that can quite often be the issue, uh, especially with things like an eclipse. I did watch some clips of it um, that people had popped up and it did look amazing. I do remember as a child there being one eclipse, solar eclipse that we went to, but not a lot of it. I don't remember lots of it. I must have been about six or seven, probably. Um, but yeah, the, definitely the videos looked absolutely amazing of it. Uh, she also says, uh, my nails look fabulous. Thank you. Uh, and a saying that is common in her household is, don't get your panties in a twist. Yes, I've heard that one. Uh, though we tend to say, don't get your knickers in a twist. Um, and it's otherwise it's chill out and calm down yes that is definitely a phrase I have grown up with don't get your knickers in a twist um, not said it for quite a while doesn't seem to have stuck as much past um, as much past school age as, as I remember it more at school age but um, yeah it's definitely one I recognize uh, Abby says this is her first time commenting, but she has watched me for about a month and a half now. Hello and welcome, Abby. Uh, she says she is newish to diamond painting, uh, and at the own at the moment she 
uh, can only afford cheap, not great quality kits, uh, but she's still enjoying it a lot. There is definitely still to be fun to be had, even in cheap kits. I've done quite a few cheap kits recently and I've still enjoyed them. Uh, she says she's hoping one day to get a Diamond Art Club kit. Oh, I just went to tip my diamonds back in my case, in my pot in my case, and my pot wasn't in my case. Uh, apparently I decided to put it on the side instead. Oh well. Uh, right, let's go for, let's keep working this way. I'm going to have some bitty bits in a bit, but let's get some blocky bits done. Um, she says she loves my video, she says, and thank you for keeping me company. Um, while she diamond paints oh well welcome to the craft and i am glad that i am here to keep you company and that you're enjoying it uh, but yeah i've done quite a few what i'd call cheaper kits recently my 30 by 40s that i've been doing uh, and i still enjoy doing them there are still many of them that are that are you know a good quality and are nice to do uh, don't get me wrong the premium kits do have that little edge um but especially if you've not done a premium kit yet, um, you won't particularly notice as much, um, you know, the difference between the two. But I'm still more than happy to do both. So rest assured, I, while I have a lot of premium kits and I've done a lot of premium kits, it doesn't stop me from enjoying the cheaper kits. That's for sure. Uh, Crystal, she says she seconds a video on Legos. Yes, I do have that down in my schedule um, and I am going to film, uh, just do sort of a little pan filming, try and remember what the sets are, though I'm nowhere near as good when it comes to hobbies ones. Um, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a big Star Wars and sort of space fan, uh, but I will I will do a video on the Legos that we currently have, um, which have been built up over the years. That's for sure. But it, it's really fun. Uh, Gadget Girl says that it looks great. Thank you. Uh, I am really enjoying this kit. Uh, really enjoying this this round kit um, and yeah I just I do like the quality of Aura Loa uh, and I'm loving this sort of blue background especially um, it's turning out really really nice uh, Melissa she says hi Rebecca she says a video was great she says she's been looking at Aura Loa uh, she said, as Hannah Lynn is leaving her partnership with Diamond Art Club, uh, she said she wanted to purchase one from Aura Loa. She says, but she can't seem to translate the site into English. Uh, she says she's only working on her phone, which is an iPhone, uh, so she can't see where to put the discount code, etc. She said, could you possibly do a video on it? Uh, many thanks, she says, to you and your family. Ooh, I'm not sure where to put it on mobile, actually. Um, I'm just going to have a look. Let me pull up Aura Loa. It does say translation available. Oh, and it set it to English for me. So I've gone straight on Aura Loa and it came up in this top corner with translation available. Okay, it's not an extension. Maybe website settings. No, it's not done that. It did come up and say translation available as soon as I went to go on it on Aura Loa. Let me try refreshing. And then it did offer to change it to English for me. But I'm trying to see where I could, in effect, tell it to change it back if I wanted to. And I'm not seeing it. Uh, maybe if I request desktop site. Okay, so it doesn't really look any different. 
So we've got re request desktop site, request mobile site. We've got website settings, but that's not that's not got anything about translation. Extensions hasn't. No idea where those extensions have come from. I've never used it. <laughs> Hi toolbar. Okay, no, that doesn't help. That doesn't help at all. <laughs> okay. Um, I am not sure because that changed automatically for me. Is it down there? Options? No. That's just my options to send it to somebody else. No, I am not sure, to be honest, um, on that front. I, do, I don't know if changing this Oh, there we go. So, found it, found it, found it, found it. Okay, so if you go to Aura Lower and tap on the three bars and down here to where it shows um, currency, so you can then choose your currency and choose a language. So I could change it to French and that changes the website to French. So if I go back and change that to English, and confirm that's changed it back to English there we go hopefully we figured it out together um, I've also got another order to pack but um, yeah it's that's where it is I love the fact you said could you possibly do a video on it and I'm thinking I have no idea <laughs> I do use it on my computer you see so uh, quite often when I'm going on and browsing I just find working on the laptop a lot easier uh, my phone I, I don't like typing on my phone um, I am a touch typer um, so I much prefer to have all my fingers on the keyboard to type um, so therefore my phone keyboard is for anything very very short and sweet I am nowhere near as fast as for example the kids are um, so yeah I'm just glad I was able to find it so there you go three lines at the top scroll down to the bottom uh, pick the flag and then you can put it in your currency and your language and the whole thing should change and that was on iPhone uh, Cheryl she says, talk about an on-time tip. She said, a few days ago, uh, she decided to change pens uh, and she used the beautiful pens and metal tips from the December Advent calendar gifts. Uh, she said she noticed that when she placed the tip in the pen, uh, it didn't sit flush in. Um, she just pressed it though uh, and didn't have an issue like with it falling out of the pen but it didn't sit flush with the pen like like this one does uh, she said then I mentioned removing the o-rings and she says voila <laughs> the tip fits like a dream she said as always thanks for all that you do to educate and entertain us well, I'm so glad it can help. Um, I do love it when sort of tips and tricks sort of appear within a whip and waffle. Um, and they just sort of, you know, happen due to whatever it is that I'm working on or, or something like, you know, a pen that I particularly had to take the O-rings out of. Um, and the fact that it's, that it's passed on and helped somebody else. So that's awesome. I'm currently on a bit of a pink tray and pink pen kick at the moment. I think I used this on Walking in the Rain uh, the other day. I am thinking I need to change up my colour uh, for my Thursday Whip and Waffle. But I am really enjoying this pink one too. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I'll treat myself to a different colour tray for that one. Um, Jerry, she says, woohoo, she says she is finally caught up 
on my videos uh, she says right regarding build a bridge she says we have always said cry me a river build me a bridge so I can get over it that's the full saying <laughs> that's the full saying I knew that I knew there was an extension to it uh, she said she will preface the next part of her comment uh, that she is not a, on a no buy she is just on a slow buy I like that she says with that being said <coughs> she said she wanted to get uh, a new metal single and multi-placer that was thin she said she has seen that Diamond Art Club has them I have heard good things about their places um, and she knows that they also sell them on Amazon yeah, in the US they might um, she says however Amazon didn't have a single placer um, so she went to the Diamond Art Club website sorry I'm just going to try and find and fill in that one um, uh, she put a three placer and a single placer in her cart uh, and then she says, well, I had to take advantage of free shipping. <laughs> Love it. She said, so yeah, I put two paintings in my cart. That's one way to upsell, isn't it? Uh, she says she's excited as one of the paintings she bought, sorry, one of the paintings she has has three ABs and three fairy dust. Um, she says she hasn't worked on any that had fairy dust, so she's excited to try those. Um, I actually really like those ones um, because you can just use your normal single placer. I don't have to. I don't have to use a wax um, based placer for those. I can just do them as normal, which I very much like because it's then quicker if I don't have to be changing my pens which is always good, though the sparkle's different. Um, she says she guesses now I'll have to visit my shop. Uh, she'll have to visit my shop for the AB stickers uh, and we'll have to throw in some launch items as well. Such a shame, the hardship that you go through. <laughs> um, she says, thank you to Megan for releasing the Zodiac cover paper. She says, as she had her eye on them today. Um, she will have to buy one set for her and two Scorpios for her sisters. Uh, she said she knows that one of them would be jealous uh, and is constantly wanting her purchases from Admore Zest. She says she's already promised her one of her trash trays, uh, so she'll have to give the other sister uh, one of the trash trays as well. She says, thank you for all that you and the family do for us, Zesty. You'll have to get them get in their list and get them to split postage with you. Uh, I mean, we do have like a higher upper limit on postage anyway, uh, when it comes to international, we sort of cap it at a certain amount. And if it's anything over, we cover it. Um, so yeah, maybe get them to get their orders in as well and save you a bit of postage while you're at it. Uh, she says me again she says by the way she says she is in love with the single and three placer she says the thinness is perfect for her I do think one of them is going to go on my wish list um, I've not seen them anywhere else I would like to give them a go um, they are rather expensive though um, so I think it would definitely be more one that I changed uh, moved it around my pens rather than having one in each of my pens uh, which is what I do now especially with my single places um, so I think I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna put on my wish list a single placer I think I'm gonna try and avoid that because I don't want to absolutely fall in love and then feel like I have to change both metal tips in my pens all the time. Uh, but I might try one of their multi-placers, um, which I don't mind switching about as much because I don't use them for every painting. Uh, so I wouldn't have to sort of switch it about for every painting that I do or every pen that I decide to use, especially because sometimes I 
I use a different pen for a different painting um, just depending on what sort of you know if I keep a few paint gems out in the conservatory I'll keep a tray and a pen with them but I don't use a multi-placer on paint gem so I don't have that issue in effect in the same way but yeah I wouldn't mind giving them a go uh, Pink Unicorn, love the name, she says, uh, my first comment to you, she says she keeps wondering about the wax pen that I use for ABs, she says she has looked at it so many times uh, on the website, she says she has a wax pencil uh, that she has used for crystal crafts um, for, for years so she tried that on the ABs um, and found it to not work very well uh, she said are these pens better I do find them better um, I thought I had I did have somewhere some of those pencils and I get what you mean um, yeah it's sort of the ABs can lose a little bit of their coating at times and it sort of gunks up some of the wax a little bit um, and it doesn't work as well with things that are um, quite stiff and I suppose not as flexible in um, like waxes wax is a little bit more flexible uh, you can also sort of heat up the wax as well a little bit and reshape it when it loses its shape uh, but it, it's my automatic go-to for all ABs now regardless I will automatically reach for one of my pickup pens uh, and I have multiples um, for some reason I don't have a blue one um, I have two black I don't have a blue uh, but yeah I, I all of a sudden seem to have accumulated quite a few and I will constantly reach for them and I just find they have always worked the best I can use my nail to scratch off any AB coating if it's decided to sort of stick in there um, and stop it picking up the pens as well and yeah it's just it's just been a dream uh, she said also she wanted to say she said that she loves um, our cover papers uh, she got her first pack to work on a diamond art studio kit um, last year and she thought they were great she says so she bought another pack um, she says but when she went to put them on a diamond art club kit she says they ripped when removing um, so you bought it last year is that the plain cover paper um, maybe the I've used them on Diamond Art Club before so I don't know why there's been any sort of problem unless it sort of got caught or the glue on the Diamond Art Club has been um, a little bit too sticky that's the only thing I can think of um, I mean they are reusable but there will eventually become a time when the whole pulling on and off may cause it to catch um, she says she'll be cutting them down so that she can still use them uh, she says but she would love to see one covered in chubby orange cats <laughs> love it absolutely love it chubby need to make sure they're chubby um, I will see uh, I do keep hold of the requests for sort of cover paper ideas um, and see if it's something that we can find and accommodate. Uh, we can't accommodate everything, but I do try where possible and I do try to let you know if it's something we're not gonna be able to from the off. Um, but I'm more than happy to see if I can find a design. Um, Vanessa, she says, hi, Rebecca. She said she just wanted to pop on and say hello from South Africa. Hello. Uh, she says she's loving my videos and she said she just wanted to ask, what does having a potter mean? I love it when I get asked questions about weird things that I say. <laughs> uh, she said it's a term that she doesn't know. Um, so for me, and I'll say it's for me, I'm sure there are other people that use it, 
um, but yeah I love saying the phrase of just pottering about um, and it, it basically means doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that um, so I really like like my pottering Saturdays um, so it may be that I decide oh the bathroom could do with a clean so I'll give the bathroom a clean and then maybe there's you know a, a piece of paperwork that needed a form filling out you know that's just been hanging around in the kitchen for me to do um, and I'll, I'll go and do that and then maybe I'll do a section of a diamond painting and then maybe I'll think oh you know I fancy building some Lego so I'll build some Lego and then I'll be like oh yeah I've got that recycling that I need to fold up and take out so I'll go and do that um, it's sort of yeah the, the pottering comes from just sort of wandering around my house doing little bits here and there um, getting little sort of jobs ticked off you know maybe things that aren't a big enough job that you sort of have to set yourself a big time oh, I've missed one up there um, that you have to set yourself a big time frame for so it's not like it's you know a, an hour long job that you have to say right okay I'm going to do this on this date or if it needs to be completed for this date uh, it's just all those niggly little things that sort of hang about and I love a day when it's not that I have to do them um, it's not a demand I don't work I don't like it when things demand attention or demand being seen to um, from me <laughs> But yeah, I do love a day where I can just sort of do what I fancy doing and sort of tick things off my list as being done. Um, so yeah, that's what I mean by sort of a potter. Um, I just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of diamond painting, but then I'll be like, oh, I'm going to get up and go do something else. And I just flit between many different things. It's my kind of day my kind of day right I'm getting a couple of little bits now sort of little bits that I've missed because there has been some colors that I missed I saw another one that's it I knew I'd seen another orange one that I missed uh, I have peeled back a bit more though I think um, this whip and waffle has probably got long enough um, so I am going to call it a day with this one in a bit um, because the amount of times I think I have, the amount of batteries I've gone through and the amount of times I have um, had to save my memory card. While I don't know exactly how long this one is, I feel like it is a decent chunk of time um, and I will try and fit in, say, other longer ones. Um, Plus, I've heard my washing machine beep. So I'm also trying to get washing done while I'm in um, filming. Luna's been great today. Uh, I've done things a little bit differently today. One, I'm not expecting any deliveries. So that's always a good thing. And I think I need to team it round days when I know I don't have any. <laughs> uh, I may still get caught out by one. Um, but also, I have sort of... Um, instead of trying to film sort of from the off today, I've sort of gone and done quite a few bits in the shop first. Um, packed orders, I still need to pack more that have come in since, but packed the orders that had been ready first thing this morning, potted about, prepped a few things, printed some things. Um, and then as Luna sort of showed signs of stopping tormenting birds in the garden and ready to settle down, I've then come in and she's gone on her favourite place on the couch and fell asleep. So I think I might need to sort of set that little bit of a, a routine and then I'm going to go um, sort out some washing, go and pack some orders, prep a couple more bits in the shop and just sort of flip between the two. Uh, and when she's tired, when she's ready for a nap, 
I mean, dogs sleep loads in the day, but when she's ready for a nap is when I'm going to film. Um, and yeah, do it that way. Anyway, sorry, complete sidetrack. Um, because I, it's, it's a lot easier for me to do sort of just straight chatting when I'm doing all these little bits, uh, especially when I'm using sort of my pot lid because there really isn't many of them rather than tipping them into my tray because uh, I can feel I can flip between each one a little bit easier um, and then save the comments for when I've got sort of a lot where was that one? Oh, there it is I knew I'd seen one in this abyss somewhere right let's tip some into here and finish reading Vanessa's comment uh, she says she loves the image that I'm currently doing she says uh, she also loves the paint gem minis uh, and it's a wish of hers to have one soon uh, she said she thinks it would be great to do in between projects yes I always manage to do quite a few more paint gems in between projects um, sometimes I do them alongside um, but yeah I often get a few done in between and I really enjoy it uh, she says she's decided to do a decision wheel for all her non diamond art club projects let me just throw my pen luckily it hasn't managed to hit anything hard it landed on my rug that makes a nice change it normally hits the hard floor um so she's decided to do a decision wheel for all her non diamond art club projects um, she's just put numbers on each project uh, and could not believe she had 67 of them it's amazing how you can tuck them away isn't it uh, she says but she can't wait to start she said she hopes all is well uh, and she can't wait for my next video oh thank you <laughs> uh, yes it is amazing like i didn't realize quite how many i had either until like i counted them until somebody said like how many is it you've got uh, and as soon as i've counted them it's like oh okay if I actually take into account the average amount that I complete in a year, uh, going on past logbook years for the last couple of years, it's going to take me a while to get through them. But you know, one of these days I will be able to dedicate hours on end to diamond painting. <laughs> uh cat lady she says hi rebecca she says yes she's decided to do a 32 color um 40 by 50 uh, so she decided to keep it low colors and not huge um she's only got two more sections to work on uh she says they've been out and about this week looking at different areas um to live different areas in which to live she said they've discounted a few um and all that well from all that they went to this week anyway she says they are hoping to live by the coast um so they'll be off out again later this week to the cumberland coast uh she says two viewings next week too so she'll be clearing her desk again tomorrow well, I'm glad you found a way that works because you can't just completely pause everything that you enjoy in your life uh, due to viewings. So I'm so happy that you've been able to work out, you know, just a way to um, still be able to do your hobby, but not feel like it's a pain every time you have to put it away. Um, Dragon Skies. Oh, we're up to comments from three days ago. So we're getting better um she says she says regarding june waffle she says could you use a different cover paper for each day uh she says she's looking forward to seeing the lego and thank you for everything that you do um for the june waffle i'm actually planning on using the number cover paper um it's partly the reason that we created it is I wanted to be able to use it for June Waffle and potentially for any projects 
that I wanted to be able to sort of section off uh, because I do enjoy um, doing paintings where they're all sectioned off and my decision wheel picks what number I work on uh, and it sort of completes itself over time. Um, so I'm actually using the number cover paper for that. Uh, but I am trying to mix up what cover paper I'm using on my whip and waffles. Um, I think when, oh, I think walking in the rain, I've just started on a new row. But I am thinking when that row has finished, then um, I might change up the cover paper on that one and sort of vary it a bit. But if you don't, you know, like to do the numbers or, you know, the spin the wheel, where the numbers are decided, then actually using a different sheet of cover paper each time could potentially be a nice way to sort of section it off. Um, and if you do like to use the decision wheel, you could still do it and just get the decision wheel to pick which cover paper you take off. I missed the number one. Right, I'm gonna do a little bit of pot placing, as I call it. Uh, where I just tip a few diamonds into the lid and I get some of these sort of symbols that there is not a lot of. <coughs> because if I start doing the whole lot, um, I am going to end up being here for hours and never get any other videos done. <laughs> so if I just do a few of these that I like have just a few of um, and then I'll have, I'll have done a fair chunk of this though in this whip and waffle goodness me I'm going to be editing it and realize exactly how long it is um, Lady Dax she says uh, she says a slap and a tickle uh, means something different here in the East End yes it does have two meanings she says how to put this politely she says, it refers to a couple only having time for a quick bit of slap and tickle. Cough, cough. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Um, yes, I, I am aware that it does sort of have that, um, is it connotation? It do, yeah, it does have that um, understanding behind it as well. It is definitely a phrase that you need to be um, careful should we say or when in which situation you say it <laughs> uh, Paula also says she says hi Rebecca she said hopes all's well she says over here in Northern Ireland she says a slap and a tickle uh, has a completely different meaning she says a rude one so the rude meaning has definitely sprung to mind with many of you get your mind out the gutter uh, she says she has just finished her oldest uh, diamond art club, um, which is Geisha by Halla Lynn. She says she's had it for nearly three years. Uh, Diana's replied and said she put she also f almost forgot about that meaning. She said it has been in a lot of historical fiction she's read in the past. <laughs> uh, Doro be punked. She says, first of all, you can read out my name once again. Yes, love it. <laughs> Doro be punked. Um, she says, regarding the Lego discussion, uh, she says she's recently finished the Tranquil Garden. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my next symbol. Um, uh, which was absolutely lovely to build. She said she also found a page where I can, where you can rent big Lego sets. Uh, she said it was for Germany, she says, but maybe there's something similar in the UK. She says would be worth a little bit of research. That may be the case, you know. Find out if I can just sort of build it. It's the taking apart though I wouldn't like. That's the problem. I don't mind building it, but if I have to take it apart to send it back, it might be worth looking into though. It might fix my sort of bug for doing bigger sets, should we say. 
Oh, Darcy says she's never, never received her coup deals order. Uh, she said she just found a message from UPS that her order was undeliverable, which she said is a load of crock. I like that phrase. Um, she says they re receive a lot of UPS packages. She said so she might try one more time, uh, but if it happens again, she won't order from them. Maybe it's for some reason the address has got funny on it. Like, you know, something's made the address not legible maybe um i don't know but hopefully coup deals are making sure that you are not paying for said mistake because they should get that back with them if not they should take it up with the delivery service that's the way it works in the uk anyway um if something's not arrived then it's up to me to take it up with the delivery service um, and sort out something for the customer. So hopefully they have done the same. Right, looks like I have got up to comments on last week's Whip and Waffle, which is definitely good. Uh, but I am going to leave it there because I feel like getting done from pretty much over here all the way up to there is probably going to be a long enough video. But anyway, thank you so much for bearing with me while I try the filming in the day. And hopefully this second half has been a lot better, which is signs that it may continue. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.